Since moving over to the East Coast, I haven't been attending as many sneaker shows as I did over on the West Coast. However, that's all about to change as I get heavier and heavier into the convention scene over here in the Northeast. Today, I'm going to be bringing you to Got Soul New York for my very first time ever attending a Got Soul event. And let me tell you, there was a lot of good stuff going on. Another weekend, another convention. This weekend is Got Soul NY. Weirdly enough, Got Soul is actually in Secaucus, New Jersey. We're on our way, about 15 minutes out. We'll check in once we get there. So right now in the parking garage for Got Soul, pretty much unloaded. I got most of my stuff already in the venue. I'm gonna be honest, this process was way easier than secret time. Last load, about to go in, get set up, so we'll check in then. We are all set up for Got Soul. Building is starting to get loaded up. We got a lot of vendors in here right now. Energy is building. It's a great venue, really, really big, very well set up. I'm pretty pumped on this. The loading experience was way easier than more recent loading experiences that we've had. Let's take a quick look around the venue, take a look at the spot, and maybe we'll get a quick cruise in before the show starts up. Day one, vendors were loading in pretty early. Even by about 10 o'clock, it seemed like almost every single table was filled and people were starting to get ready for the show. Luckily, I was able to get ready very early, so I had a little bit of leisure time before the show that I could start to walk around and check out what everybody else had to offer. Ice from Village. And you said it's from West, West Africa? Ghana, West Africa. Are you from Ghana yourself? I'm from Ghana, man. Hell yeah, dude. Yes, what you know about Ghana? Not much. <laughs> Not much. No, I'll tell you what, everything about it. I'll tell you everything about it. But yeah, man, we pushing the culture, getting in the fashion world, just dropping sneakers. We out here, you know, in Got Soul, trying to connect with the people like right now. Go right there, Jay from Ghana, West Africa. You know what I mean? We're jumping into the fashion world, man. Everything got the logo in it and the logo means accept god very you know, cool we got some, i'm gonna have some more tomorrow man but yeah the website is www.ashantibees.com is this where i come for my raffle tickets this is where you come for your raffle tickets nice when's the drawing actually happening sunday will you be here yeah yeah where are you coming from boss sailboat supplies yeah. thank you man take care of it will do since I got set up so early, I was lucky enough to be able to take a quick lap around the venue, and I ended up actually seeing some guys I met at SneakerCon DC. Looks good, man. Looks real good. How, How we doing, boss? Good. How's the ride this time around? Not as bad. We got a better truck. We were here early. We thought he would be a little more organized, but they've been treating us really well. The customer service here, they want. The security guard were the only ones here at 2 a.m. He was saying how last time the VIP line went all the way around the building. So he said, get ready. We've already sold probably 30, 40 pairs. I hope it's a good event for everybody. Absolutely, dude. But it's good seeing you, man. Good seeing you, too. First sale of the day. We got a couple homies that are taking some old school Pokemon cards. They got the four booster packs that I had. Two Gym Heroes, two Team Rocket packs. My guy, you wanna shout yourself out right quick? Cash Camp Flow on Instagram. Shout out to Rock on. on. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, homie, appreciate it. 11 o'clock, VIP entry is about to happen. So I gotta make a quick lap around before this place gets too crazy and I can't leave the stand. Gonna get a little bit of B-roll, show you guys what this place looks like and then we'll, uh, we'll get into it. After making a big Pokemon sale, I decided that I was gonna take a lap around since the VIP line was about to be let into the building. I got lucky enough to be able to cruise through almost the entire venue and check out some of the other stands. I saw an amazing selection of picks and I was rather blown away by the fact that not every single stand was just carrying your flavor of the week type of stuff, which is what I'm pretty used to from being over on the West Coast for so long. There were some early releases, there were some really old school releases, some retro and vintage stuff, and a lot of just straight up classics from the 1990s and 2000s. I was absolutely blown away by the selection and I was really surprised that it wasn't just a ton of Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, Jordan 3s, and Dunks. That man Dom, how we doing dude? Yo, shut it out. Got him hype, got him hype. Let's go, let's go. 
the homie Dom. He was at SneakerCon last weekend. Good people right there, real good people. As I kept walking around, I definitely started to recognize some more faces from Washington DC SneakerCon the weekend before. This group of guys had about 80 pairs of Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. Right next door, there was a whole bunch of grails and drop front see-through containers. As I continued to cruise, I kept seeing familiar faces and some displays that I recognized from SneakerCon DC. It was really cool to see the different ways that people had set up their stands because there were a lot of non-traditional types of looks that really showed off the sneakers very well. I was also really impressed with the selection outside of sneakers including rugs, streetwear, accessory, art, and more. There was really a massive selection of vendors at Got Soul. This is about to be a lit show. I'm very, very excited for this. Obviously, I wasn't able to hit everything in here because it's a huge venue. The show's about to start pretty soon, so I want to say bye at the station since I am solo dolo today. Although, I got to say that the uh, homies to the left and the homies to the right are fucking fire. Over here, we got the homie Gizmo from Cam's Exotic. So Gizmo's got a fire show of clothing today. Got a couple pairs of kicks. We got a couple cards. My God, Gizmo, where are they gonna find you at? Cam's Exotic on Instagram. You got it all right there. Go, right, there we go. Me, let me know. And then to the other side of me, we got the homie Jacob from Hype Meets Heat. You guys met him at SeekerCon Boston. Jacob is also a Soul Supremacy Beater Box member, and him and I have been in contact doing great business for a really long time. Just shy of 11.30, looks like doors have opened. I don't know if it's just for VIP or if it's for everybody, but we got people coming in. At 11 o'clock, the VIP doors opened and we started to have a pretty steady stream of customers for the rest of the day. You can tell by just taking a quick look around the building that there's just a lot more activity and a lot more people filling up the aisles as well as behind the vendor stands. Something tells me we about to be very busy in a very short period of time. We'll check in a little bit, see how things are going, but for now, just gotta wait until everybody gets into the venue. As the day picked up, we started to get more and more customers and more people stopping by the stand. Although I wasn't selling very many shoes, I was definitely meeting up with a lot of cool people. So my homie Resurrection Kicks just came through. Shout it out because he's seen the YouTube channel before. He saw the video where I got the CCK sauce on my hands and was bitching and moaning about it. And he recognized me because of that. Now he's got a pair here for me. We got the Space Jam from 2018, but these things are super heavily worn, super yellowed. I think it looks like a good pair for the Your Icing Wrong series. So uh, I think I'm gonna cough. So let's get the money, let's make it happen. All right, he's asking 100 bucks. We got one, two, three, four, and five. There we go, my guy. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Rock on, and where do the people find you? Our Resurrection Kicks LLC. We're based on in Staten Island and also in Albany, New York. Just started now. That's the homie right there. He also does restoration work, so if you need anything, tap in with him. He's got some great prices on his re-glues. I appreciate that appreciate so much. It. Hype meets heat. Reeling and dealing. He sold a bunch of eggs? I think 15. 15, 15 pair. Pair. okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice to have sample next That's... to me, giving me the encouragement all day, you know? <laughs> it's better than I've sold at a whopping zero pairs. Well, you got your cards out. That's the I got the cards. As it turned out, the Pokemon cards would absolutely crush throughout the day for me, and shoe sales would be a little bit slow but everything was still pretty constant as far as flow as traffic through the day. Show's been pretty busy, quite honestly. I never really have a ton of traffic all at once to the stand, but it's been pretty consistent throughout the course of the entire day. I still haven't sold a single pair of shoes though, which is pretty fucking wild. I have sold a ton of Pokemon cards. I've also purchased a couple things, which I wasn't supposed to do. And I just found out that I hit on the Air Jordan 8 player exclusive University of Oregon. So that cost me a fucking grip and uh, I probably should didn't have put a bid down on them for the auctions on goat but i did and i won so here we are so very much the end of the day it's six o'clock and i only sold a single pair of shoes mind you i sold a fuck ton of pokemon cards so it was still a successful day jacob how'd you do brother did well i, th I think i sold about 20 pairs yeah the big pair i sold some some off-white the serena blazers that made my day no matter what definitely good to get that sailboat by my side hey you know, it's good to be here, man. It's getting emptied out pretty quick. It was a slow day sneakers wise, very good day Pokemon cards wise. And uh, that seems to be a trend. Just finished out at Got Soul day one. It's about seven o'clock, took like an hour to pack up and unload. 
Still a full car because I only sold a single pair of kicks today. But we got day two coming up tomorrow and Antonio Brown and Joe LaPuma are going to be in the building. So hopefully they'll bring in a little bit of traffic and hopefully people are gonna be buying a little bit more tomorrow. Got Seoul, New York. First time being here ever. It was fun. I wish I would have sold a little bit more, but hey, sometimes that's how the game goes. Check back in tomorrow and uh, see you then. Seven forty-three, day two on the road again. Hopefully day two will be a little bit better as far as the kick sales are concerned. I decided to get a little bit of a later start today with the assigned tables and everything. It's not like I'm fighting to get a wall spot. We will check in once we get over there. Just got in, it's a little bit past eight, like 8, 20, 8, 30 or so. Got all my stuff into the venue. I gotta start unpacking, get the table all set up. Very quiet in here this morning. Normally it's a little bit more quiet on day two as far as vendors being here this early. Not really surprised necessarily, but I thought there'd be at least a few more people. Guess we'll find out. Time to get set up now. Day two, I was lucky enough to get blessed by Jacob with his table because he decided that he was only going to buy. Because I had so much extra space, I had to figure out how to make the best use of it and it took a little longer to set up. All right, it's about 10.30 right now. I'm all set up. Took a little bit to get set up because I got two tables today. Jacob over at Hype Meets Heat decided that he was just gonna buy today. So he said that I could use his table. Spread out a little bit more. Setup is looking really, really good. Let's take a quick look at that. And then we're gonna do like a real fast cruise before we get into the action. Since it took me a bit longer to get set up on the second day, I didn't really have as much time to walk around. So I tried to stay as close to my stand as possible to keep an eye on things. It was really quiet early in the day, and even as it got closer to the VIP entry, it seemed like there weren't quite as many vendors as there had been on day one, and some tables weren't even filled in with vendors. Show is a go. 11.30, VIP is starting to come in right now, so it's getting a little bit busy. We're gonna cruise, we're gonna have a good time, and uh, it's gonna be a good day today. 12.30, show has officially started. General admission is now being let in. Traffic is decent, but I have a lot of people that want to sell me stuff instead of buy stuff from me, so there's that. Hopefully, we'll have a couple of people that want to come through and actually cop some stuff by the end of the day today. He's back again <laughs> i'm just showing the products i appreciate that man the more eyes i get on them the better thank you much bro day number two traffic off the bat was just a little bit lighter than it was on day one but luckily it was still pretty consistent foot traffic throughout the course of the day pokemon cards remained a hit while sneakers were selling slow so i got the homie kevin here met him on trade block he had the size 12 babes and he was down to do a size swap for the 11 and a half so i had a size that fit me for the personal my guy appreciate my you guy. we're just gonna do a, a quick little legit check on these things since we have access to it make sure that everybody is looking good feeling safe about it and i uh, will go from there not go sneakers southern maine pull up southern maine oh fucking hey let's southern go maine, six hours away Jeez. about to do that after this oh that's brutal everything looking pretty good to you yeah, it looks good. I'm still just gonna run it. It's 30 minutes. Um, do you mind if we run yours over to the Dead Sox hand real quick, just to get them checked out from yeah, my? Yeah, for, sure, for sure. If you want to do those ones at the Dead Sox okay. hand too, of course. Yeah, I'm down for sure. I was crazy excited to have found somebody with size 12 Bape NMDs to size swap with my 11 and a half. I had gotten the 11 and a half thinking Let's go, that baby! it definitely fit, but it was way too tight, so I needed to go true to size. We're doing a size swap right here, so. Uh, bait for the bait? Yeah, he had my size, so. <laughs> I could fit his size, but he has the box. Deadstock app was the one that ran these legit checks, and they've been around doing a great job for a little while now. This one's good. Rock on. It was great to do business with someone like Kevin who was willing to jump through extra hoops in order to make sure both of us were comfortable with the transaction. Rock on. Thank you much, man. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Kevin, I appreciate you. You run with it? I'm good to go if you're good, brother. Right, Kevin, thank you so much, man. Uh, yo, shut it out again so we can find you on Trap door sneakers. TR.
As the second day continued on, it seemed pretty apparent that shoe sales were going to remain low, but Pokemon card sales were going to remain relatively consistent. This really seemed to be a trend during my entire time over at Got Soul. Slow day, only two sneaker sales, but the second one is here right now. My homie, what's your name? Shout out, Eddie. Eddie, you got those Mystic Blue Jordan 1 lows. Great deals, great deals. Hell yeah, where can the people find you, my man? Uh, I don't have a tag, but... No tag, all right. No. Just Eddie. Take care, my man, I appreciate you. As we got closer to the end of the day, I was worried that I wasn't gonna have any big sales until about half hour before the close of the show. What's your name, my man? Kaba, Kaba the Creator on RG. He yeah. just picked up some Travis Scott sixes. Yeah, right. And he talked me down out of my firm price too. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming through, homie. 615, show finally ended. Pretty hectic day. Unfortunately, Gizmo had some stuff jacked from him. Huge bummer. He left the stand for a couple minutes. I was working with some customers and just didn't see the person come through. We live, we learn, and move on from there. Was able to do my trades for the babes that fit me. I ended up doing a trade with Gizmo, too. I ended up selling a couple of pairs today. Overall, pretty decent day. Now it is time to get to the packing up and getting out of here process, which... So it's 7.23, I'm in the car, I'm on the way home. You know, it was a semi-successful weekend. A lot of Pokemon cards sold, which is always a good thing. Only four pairs sold though. And they weren't exactly heavy hitters except for the Travis Scott Sixes. Honestly, if I had more sizes, I think I would have done a lot better, but I was very, very limited. And I definitely got to learn the Northeast. It's a different crowd with different style out this direction. So it's going to be interesting to try and figure it all out. It was a fun time at least. I really enjoyed myself during this show. I think it was good enough to uh, warrant a second try at least. If you guys have made it this far in the video, make sure that you smack that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check out the website, www.sailboatsupplies.xyz. Follow me on social media, at Sailboat Supplies. Thank you for tuning in to the cold, bitter end. I'm Sailboat, I'm out of here.